right so um the next thing we're gonna do here is just to start the main ui development i mean the main ui design this is very very important so i'm just gonna give it out a space for now and basically i want to um i want to try and get the same size here so first thing first i want to do is just click on this form here then i go to the property survey just want to make sure i have um you know some settings first set up the first one is going to be the text for the form it's actually form one by default but i'm not going to use that i'm just going to say smart vpn late just like this and you see we have the smart vpn late up here excellent the second one i'm going to choose is the window start position i always want this project to start in the center screen of my um of my screen yes i want to stay i want it to start up in the center of my um, screen that is very important then i go to the form border style since this project doesn't have any form of um title bar like this or control bar like this i'm just going to take mine off so i'm just going to set the border style to none and that is actually going to take that design off now now bring this then i put it here just to do a little measurement to see how it actually looks like so basically this has to come down just way down here and this also has to come just little just like this so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to minimize this but i'm just going to click on this then i just extend this a little then i bring it back okay so let's just pull it just like that excellent now we have to pull this down just a little you know that looks perfect excellent so once we have this we can really go ahead and start our project for the for this for the second time to see how it actually appears so we have an error here let's click on no to see the error so form one is not a member of that so we have to go there and change it from form one to frm main let's save it now let's start it once again let's see if we have any error here so this is basically from the name we gave to you know we renamed the form one and that is actually causing the problem here so no problem you just have to make sure it is overriding and all is good so this is what you have to change anytime when it gives you any problem so this is a window we're gonna work on as the ui designing so we are good to go now let's go to the main design now it is time for us to keep up our colors this is very important so i'm just gonna launch my jc color picker right here i put it way right here then i go in for my software you know my copy software put it right here just like this so it says hot key is alt plus x key on your keyboard so i'm just gonna hover the mouse here then i hold alt x on my keyboard to save this sidebar color right then i come here alt plus x to save this as my base color and this guy is gonna be green color so um let's go for let's go in for this active uh, orange color no don't worry we're just gonna work on that everything is gonna be quite super well, let's see if we can add up some additional colors i think uh, there is no any other color just to add uh, everything seems fine so we basically need to these two colors so first thing first let's work with a main background design this main background design is very very important so how can we really achieve this let's first add something called the flow layout panel well before we add the flow layout panel 
we will be adding the floor layout panel all right so click and drag the floor layout panel here click on this let's dock it to the container um no 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 we're not going to use floor layout panel but we're just going to use um let's say layout i just want to make sure i know that is table layout is it table layout i think it's table layout yep yep that is what i need so with this table layout we're just gonna dock this to the parent container but before we do that i just wanna um make sure i choose a primary color of this so i just go to the classes then i create a new class i'm just gonna call this class um uh, colors so i'm just gonna say my colors right and this is just a class called my colors and i'm just gonna um declare um color um as um okay so i'm just gonna um declare base color as color and this color is equal to you know the color i want to use right so i go here and you can see this is the color so i'm just going to choose rgb just like rgb like this and i'm just going to copy this then i say color dot from r a r g b just like this then i just want to specify the colors in here by just pasting them just like this so this is going to be my base color i already have it don't worry so i'm just going to go back to my main design click on this then for the base color or the background color let's just paste the colors we chose and boom there you go we have this color right here right let's go ahead and then dock this to the parent container so we're just going to go to the dock and let's set it up to be fill and what we're going to do is drag and drop this you know as in division or you know something like that so we're just going to divide this into this section maybe something like this and i really love it yep just to keep um, the calculation in point um, on point and uh, everything seems to be working perfectly fine so what i'm going to do is just click on this and i'll uh, just say remove is it a row i think it is a row remove last row perfect so we are good to go excellent now let's just add up this very beautiful sharp curve here you can see a very beautiful sharp curve around the edges you can see that so let's add it to our project just make sure you have your main form selected go here and search for a lip that is guna ellip double click on it then you have a guna ellip here go to the properties of this guna ellip then set the border radius to 10. also let's set the target to main form excellent now when you click on start you can then see that our project is now in a circular mode you can really see the sharp edges very very interesting if you think the sharp edges are very very small for you you can just increase this by setting it up to 200 i'm sorry 20 and that is also going to work it out for you there you go so you can see there it is now let's work with the dragging of this form it's very important so let's work with the dragging of this form so to work with that you just have to go in and then you say drag gonna drag drop control just just double click on that and you're just gonna set this target to the main form you know there is no harm in trying let's just try it first to see if it is actually working perfectly fine so it is not really working as a target because we've already added a table layout panel here 
so that table layout panel should be our target just like this start it up again there you go now we can really move our panel this looks much more interesting now you can decide to customize it anyhow you want it to be you can either decide to use a panel instead of you know placing the flow layout panel what do i mean by that let's just undock this back to none then let's add a panel here just a normal panel here and with this normal panel let's set the dock style not the dock style actually but the border style let's set it to fix single then you see a border around that now you can bring this guy in here then on this panel we can dock it up here now when we try to start this project up you can see that there will be some sort of line at the edges of that it really depends on how curved you want to use this project for but in my case i'm not going to do that i'm not going to use that but i'm just showing you this as a reference so i'm just going to undo that then keep this as my default perfect now i have to go ahead and then add a panel here which is going to control everything so i'm just going to go in for the panel drag and drop the panel here now i can dock this panel into the parent container for it to fill only this space remember that this panel will be controlled when you take a look at this you can see this is not there but only the home you can see the minimize close and you know the menu option that is really really brilliant idea they've added so far and we're gonna achieve that as well so let's go back from here this panel just gonna give it a name and i'm just gonna call this base panel like that then i just want to add my home design here so i go to the controls then i add a new control that is user control basically i have to say this is going to be ctl dashboard let's say ctl home that is going to be my ctl control home then i click on add control so this is the control i have added so far so i'm just going to go back to the main click on this base panel just copy this base panel size It's very important copy that come to your home design and let's just paste it right here just to get the same size remember we have our color as our as our primary color secondary color sorry here so i'm just gonna copy this color click on this come to the top click here then paste it perfect so we have this color as well you know i really want to customize the whole thing so i'm just going to go inside my base color then i say then um secondary color as color that is equal to color dot from argb and then i just paste the color here that looks excellent we're just going to use these as you know references and all that you know don't worry we're just going to get used to it all right so once we have this we can go ahead and then go to the ct home just make sure everything is cool but before we do anything i just want to add an ellip to this gonna ellip here then i set the border radius to 20 so i have a border radius of this 
to be 20. Yes. Perfect. That looks awesome. Now let's wrap this um, part up. So we just have to go to the main. But before we do that, let's just build our solution so we can get this under our control. So just make sure you don't have any error here. And it's done. So we go back to the main form. Now, when we go up, way up, um, then we check to see our project name. It should be somewhere here. Where is it? So I'm just going to search for CTL and there you go. See CTL home. And now I can drag and drop this home here. And with this, I can easily dock this to the parent container. So I just go to the dock, set it up to fail. And now there you go. This is what we have here. Remember that we added, um, a guna ellip here but we never set the target so we just have to set the target to ctl home and you see it has a very nice curve so i'm just going to set this up to 10 just to you know keep it very very somehow sharp well let's just maintain 15 it's kind of cool so just have to go to build and rebuild the solution again just for it to take effect from the main form here so you can see that it really has taken effect from the main form here. Excellent. Let's click on start to see what we've done so far. Perfect. So you see, we have a very beautiful design right here. And that looks awesome, guys. All right. So thank you, guys. Um, yeah. So this is the first part we're going to work on. And we are done. So on our next part, we're just going to see how we can generate our, our icons from the Picon software we downloaded. You know, create an asset folder. We, you know, we try to get all the assets and all that. Then we start working along with the main project. All right, guys. So thank you very much. And Ikesoft Original is out. Now the name is Ike Tech on YouTube. Have a nice day.